Well, hello, everybody. Welcome back to another wonderful day of Charlotte Wars Adventure in Factorio. And this is our New World series. And I want to show you what's cool. What's cool. I'll show you what's really cool. So if I go and grab block. Uh, let's see here. Look at this iron. It's slowly being used. That's cool. It's been taken into here, which is a requester chest, which is perfect. And we got these guys here being made. So I'll, I'll grab a stack. So basically, if you have a stack of these, I think if you push and hold the shift, you can place them down, and the robots will do the magic. Uh, let's just do this something like this. Let's see here, let's make sure. And now there goes the robots. Isn't that cool? That is absolutely amazing. I love this. Yeah, they're putting the floor in. Doot, 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 doot. That's just beautiful. The robots in action, man. I just love that. So we have 300 logistic and 150 construction. Hopefully that's enough. I finished the portable fusion reactor. So let's take a look at the fusion reactor here. Uh, let's see. So we need alien artifacts. Um, those would be like this. We need 30 alien artifacts. <coughs> so they should go and grab us. I think that's what these guys are doing right now. They're going to grab us. The speed is very slow. So is there anything for speed? Logistic robot speed. Let's do that one. Let's just start researching again. It's going to use up everything, of course, but that's fine and dandy. So that's cool. So we can start building new concrete with this stuff. Uh, let's go check down here. Let's see the stock. This is the supply right here. Let's throw that in there. So this will operate as fast as it can. Let's put these guys there. Uh, what else? I think that was the last blue one. So let's run over here. Uh, where do we have the other guys? Right over here. Okay, and then we can throw this one in there. Uh, let's see here. What else? What else? <clears throat> um. Yeah, it's been a while since I played. So I have to kind of get back into the groove of things. Let's grab a bunch of those guys. Less than 50, make more. I think that's what's happening. Okay, good. Um, let's see here. Uh, how's this happening? It's kind of the hole up down here is with the advanced processors. Okay, not a big deal. Let's take a quick peek over here. This the bullet production is complete. Makes me want to do another one. Um, passive provider, kind of like this, and then do it like this. What, the one spot that has no power? Are you kidding me? Okay. Let's do that then. That should get things going. And what will happen is this will fill up. And then this will fill up as well. And, and that should be enough bullets to last us for quite some time. Uh, this is all plastic and stuff. Sulfur, uh, sulfuric heavy oil, light oil, petroleum, crude oil. Yeah, we will have to deal with that. So let's check on these things here. Um, okay, this is doing okay. Uh, we do need to get some oil either up here or maybe even up here. 
because see there's only these things to deal with here that would be actually really easy to secure and then we can ship it down maybe that is what we shall do let's kind of do a quick check of all our deposits here okay this one's done perfect okay how about this stuff here stuff here is done as well this is our balancing system here that we have which doesn't seem to do the trick anymore so let's just tear this up okay and let's make it straight like that again that should be good enough Feed, that all feeds into there and then let's kind of do a quick check over here uh, let's see here run down here how's this deposit doing oh ah, actually it's getting consumed getting consumed that one's still going okay the logistic robot speed is complete So I should have 30 of these guys, okay. Let's get rid of the, do I have a spot for copper? No, we don't. So what we should do is actually put in a requester chest. I think right there. Then we can do like this. We can do that and then we can do that so this will tie it in and basically what we can do with this one is we can request 2.4 thousand the items okay perfect uh, let's see here so that should do the trick but we just need power now like that and then we need to do the same with the, the iron as well at some point but this should keep things going okay so we got that in place okay this is still happening how's this all happening still kind of producing want backlogs uh, and then we got this stuff is producing which is is nice it looks like it's going quite nicely okay, and then how about this stuff here it's kind of taking a quick peek okay well let's go run up top how many bullets do we have we might need a few more bullets uh, how many walls do we have um, I don't know if we need more walls. Let's see here. Let's grab that. Uh, let's see here. Okay, let's make a fusion. Bang! There goes a, a reactor that we just created. And once that is created, we'll be able to shove that into this thing here. Oh, shoot! I already have a reactor. Why did I build that? Uh oh. Well, never fear. You just have to break it down. So let us throw that there. Throw that there. Actually, we can't do that. Unless it gets requested up there. Let's just make sure of that. So that's passive. We need to change this thing to a smart inserter because this thing is just too smart. So, requester chest is going to request 500. Hmm. 
Because this is where we want it to store stuff, right? Is in here. But I don't want it to continue from the passive provider here. So really what we need to do is get rid of this one and this one and this one. Okay. And then we need to put in passive provider request or chest. Put in one of those. And then we just put in a blue one, of course. And yet we request 500. That's correct. But the key with this is all of these things are going to be in the logistics system. And where I don't care. But I think that's how we'll do it. So that way this will request 500 always. When it needs more, it will just keep dumping more up there. So, And then the rest of this stuff will just be stored in the system somewhere. Which would be perfect. Okay, and so let's grab a bunch more bullets. Smart inserter. Throw that there. So yeah, so let's grab a bunch more bullets and then run up top there. Uh, it looks like we got basic components, so... 100... A couple hundred steel plates. We need oil, oil, oil. Okay. Let's grab some bullets. Perfect. Uh, oops. Yeah, I guess that works. It's a lot of bullets, but that's what we need. Uh, we're filling up on steel there. Let's throw some extra processing units into the system. These are belts. Um, throw those into the logistics system as well. Um, I think that about covers it. We need some extra free slots for stuff. Okay, so let's kind of run up this way. <clears throat> this is all in the system. Oh, look at this. Look at this down here. So we even have this stuff to, to, oh, to deconstruct. Let's just use the robots. See, this is where it all shines. This is where I love robots. Okay, so we click like this. And click like this. All right. And we can actually... Start to replace this stuff. Oh, robots are coming. Okay. Um, just like so. We do that. And this thing will actually just go directly... on um, let's see here there we go okay so now this is going to request coal and, and logs which is perfect so if you throw this into there Available construction, available logistics. So we need more logistic. Let's see how we can build more logistic stuff. Uh, let's see here. Logistic, here we go. Here's the robots. Logistic. Let's throw another 50 into the wild. They're all going up to move the stone. That's where a lot of them are going. Look at all these robots. Look at all them flying. Flying over there. Uh, what's going on here, actually? Hmm. Let's check the blueprint out. No. 
okay. And press and hold the shift. So that way we can place those. Hmm, look at that. So the reason we don't place it there is because we can't place it in the middle. But if we had the landfill stuff, we could. And then we could build right there. But now we can't. So, yeah, that's okay. We'll just let that do its thing. Those should get built at some point. Um... Fifty construction robots available. Oh, uh, look at that! Now I know why. It's not within the the logistic range, the build range. We need to build one of these guys in here somewhere. Um, let's put this here for now, and then put that like that so that should extend the construction range which then they should make them you build the rest of that and take the trees down looks like that is happening perfect okay how's this happening this is slowly unloading not fast enough of course but it is happening let's, let's check on this outpost up here just to see what's happening and looks like the stone is done okay it looks like th this one is done so we can pick all this up and now it's probably just a matter of taking all of these stuff and Looks like not much left. And then once that's all gone, we can take it apart. Yeah. So now we have this thing with no ammo. <laughs> oh my goodness. Why is that? Man. Okay. So let's build another radar unit. Let's see here. Let's do this directly across. Uh, let's take a look at the map. Let's keep doing this. Oh, maybe one too far. Let's see here. I think right here is where the next radar unit will go, right where I'm standing. So let's place that guy, that bad boy down. Okay, let's place some turrets. Let's see here, what's the best way? Who knows, hey? We can do turrets like this. Let's actually do turrets like this. Make a configuration of four, right? Then you have a power pole, and then it hooks in over here somewhere. Okay, and then we might as well throw a light in there so we can see, like that. And then we just build a wall around all this. Uh, it doesn't really matter what the wall looks like. This is more just a little barrier to slow them down. So if they ever did break through or anything like that, then we at least have this. Like so. There we go. And let's throw these in here. There we go. Now we got another outpost. Or another raider outpost. So that way more areas can be explored. And we're going to continue our conquest up.
because we need to kind of work on this stuff. We need these oils. And then I think we'll call the episode. Kind of at the beginning of the conquest here. Uh, here's the two deposits. How close is it to the biters? Fairly close. We're going to have to put these guys down. Okay, so that way we got turrets there. And really the big jackpot's up here. So we need to create something here. Okay. Let's make a couple pump jacks. One, two. Let that do its thing. So what we're going to do is we're going to place a couple of those. We're going to place a couple storage tanks. Let's have four storage tanks for all the oil here. We will use pumps, but I'll have to have electric engines for that. Uh, let's see here. Still waiting for the pump jacks. Oh, excuse me, I just had to take a drink there. Uh, we do have pipes, not much though. Crap. Okay, that's okay. So what we need to do is... Probably do pump jack there. And then we'll do another pump jack here. We'll put the tanks in the middle here. Maybe like you get rid of that rock. Maybe the tanks could go right here. Okay. Make sure we got those there. Okay, where's the tanks? Here's the tanks. So the tanks we want one, two, three, four. Okay. Oh, there they go. Now they're coming. So we want the tanks like that, right? Then we want another pump jack. Okay. Then we want to bring... Basically, we want to hook this stuff up. So we do that. Let's see here. That. Let's do underground. Yeah, I'm going to need to grab more pipes here. So I tell you what, I'll be right back. I'm going to run back and grab some pipes. Yeah, screw it. We're just going to do the attack here. We might as well get on with it. Let's see. Okay, perfect. Look at the shields. The shields are doing the trick. As expected. Perfect. Oops. Perfect, okay. Uh, we can actually just use the shotguns. The shields are recovering fast enough. It's because the reactor that's in place. Ooh! You can actually take quite a few hits with it. Cool, so we need to get the Mark IIs, I think. Nice. It's nice to be able to shoot this stuff again. Look at that. Come on. Perfect. Okay, so that wasn't too bad of a biter base, right? Let's repair this stuff. This stuff. Okay, pick it up. Okay, so that one's taken care of. How about up here? Looks like we got some wormies in there. Looks like it's going to be a little bit tough for action, but that's okay, because we got this stuff here. Woo. Woo. Come on, come on, boys. Okay. Okay, whoa, whoa, whoa. Ooh. Okay. Okay. Uh, 
Okay, come on. Repair, repair, repair. Repair, repair, repair. Oh, there's no ammo. Whew. There we go. Whew. That sucks. Just ran out of ammo here right at the end. Look at that. Man, we need to pick up some turrets. There we go, folks. Whew. So there we go. That was quite the fun, I tell you. Let's place these down here. Let's repair these buggers. Man. That was challenging, but the, that fusion reactor inside of us definitely helps. So I do want to maximize this stuff. I do want to see if we can change this around. Maybe we can make these Mark IIs. Maybe we can put in a personal defense system. I'm not too sure. I don't think we even need the solar panels in there, to be honest. They seem to do the trick. Maybe we can get a personal roboport. Can we build that thing? Uh, let's see here. I don't see it in here. Unless it's in here. Maybe in here? No, I don't see it. So let's take a look at the research for that. Here we go. Personal Roboport. That's this one. Let's give that a research. Okay, let's pick this up. Pick that up. Let's leave these two there. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five more pump jacks, huh? Let's see where we are. Pump jacks. One, two, three. So we need more components. So, yeah. So I tell you what. Thank you, everybody, for watching. Hope you've enjoyed this episode. The next episode, we're going to finish this oil assembly and kind of work on a train track system to get it all the way back. So, yeah. So thank you, everybody, and I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Bye-bye.